Merry Christmas, everybody! Ramsey, huh? it is not Christmas! It's not? No, boy, it's July! July? <laughs> <laughs> Look at them, stop Look at them, that was like... They looking what? at us. Ooh, y'all hating on our Christmas life. Y'all be huh? hating because this brings out our eyes. Ho, ho, ho! Wait a minute. Merry Christmas! Wait a minute, Ramsey. Huh? <laughs> I am the reindeer. What? Oh, hey, hey, no, you're definitely not the reindeer. I thought I was Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. Remix. Had it. Uh, 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 you didn't say any words. Okay. Uh, Ramsey, uh, our babies are here. You're right. Hi, guys! What's up, kids? We miss you! We miss you so much! It's your girl, Miss Stashi. Well, Y'all know Mr. Ramsey is in the building. True. Hey, and guess who's in the building, Stashi? Tell me. The kids. Yes! I'm so happy to be here with Men. them. Wow. I'm so excited to yeah. see some of them on Sundays. Come on. Guys, we miss you so much. We do. We miss our testimonies. Everything. Everything. Our worship, our game time, Everything. our word, our scriptures. And you guys are always cracking on me, Miss Mustachi, when I say God's playground. Well, it truly is God's playground. Yes, it is. You were right. So guess what? What, 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 what? This week we are talking about... Hmm. Amazing Grace. Amazing Could you Mr. Grace. Mr. Ram Grace. Mr. Ram Grace. <laughs> <laughs> Ramsey. The sound I want for lost. You should sing it in sign language. I'm glad you were found. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Cut! Number two. Oh, wow. Because this is what our babies don't know. Well, they don't know, Mr. That Sashi. grace is a gift. It is truly a gift. Yes, mm. yes. Grace is a gift, and this week we're gonna focus on Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. Can I read that? So it everybody says, get your Bibles. Wait, 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 Stash, Miss Nastasha, they have to get their iPads. You real? You, you know, real? Because kids nowadays, they don't know about getting a Bible. What? They don't know about getting their parents' phone, iPhone 11. You remember like, one time at Christmas when the kids were like, uh, yeah, so I want uh, iPhone 12 for Christmas. 12? And we were like, you know Jesus had 12 disciples. Are you right? They called me deep. They pro you know what, that was really deep. <laughs> but Ms. Nastashi, huh? I thought they were saying, you know what, I want a PS, a PlayStation. Okay. Or maybe. A, a Nintendo. A scooter. That's before your time. But they said they wanted an iPad. Right, or iPhone 11. Come on. And Ms. Nastashi got the iPhone 5. Hey, guess what? What? Now they can use it for the Bible. Hello, the Word of God. Ephesians. Hey! Chapter 2. two. Got Eight through nine. Go all set. Come on. So you get your Bible. Your Bible. Oh. Right, let's get this kill. We get one in now. <laughs> it says here, Ephesians chapter two, verse eight through nine. It says, For it is by grace you have been saved. Through faith, and this is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. For we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. That's what's up. So let me break that down. Break it down. God's grace yes. has saved you because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything that you do it is God's gift. So you're telling me that if I give my friend a piece of candy, that I won't receive God's grace that way? No. How do I receive God's grace? Let's get into this. If you're ready for the word, say, true, 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 true. True, true, true. Did I do that good? No, you sound like a car engine. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I know that's right. So, Brother Ramsey, why don't you hook up the story? So, let's start over here. Let's see. Merry Christmas in July, right? You guys see that we have the lights. We are saying Christmas is in July because grace is a, a gift. gift. That's right. right. So let's go into it. It says, 
Look at a terribly wrapped gift in your hand. So what do you need to do as we're doing it? There you go. First of Thank all, you. don't be calling my gift terrible. You know what? It, I took my time and I wrapped this gift. It looked like a broke down car. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Mrs. Sasha, they have to go. We want you to stop what you're doing, run to your parents, and tell them you have to create a crazy, broken gift. That's right. So go find something in your room, whether it be a shirt or a go shoe? in the kitchen, a paper towel, yeah. and we want you to wrap it. And we're gonna do your this. best. So they're back. Woo! Yay, yes, babies! Yes. Now let's talk about this gift here because there's something interesting about this gift that you're getting ready to learn about. That's right. Because grace is a, a gift. gift. So it says, you'll see why these gifts are here in a minute. But first, let's pick up where we are in God's big story. We're talking about what happened with the people who believed in Jesus after Jesus after died, died, came back to life, and guess what? Went to heaven. Wow, I know you guys are thinking, how does this gift is going to match the story? Well, let's figure it out more. God's it big story. A big, big story. Mm -hmm. Here it says here, we talked a lot recently about a man named Paul. You remember Paul? Mm -hmm. I know you remember Paul. I know Paul. Because we talked about Paul, <laughs> right? Yeah. It says, Paul traveled around and shared the message of Jesus with people all over the place. Mm -hmm. He also wrote a bunch of letters to encourage the believers in different churches. I love Paul's letters. Yes. They always spoke truth. They do. And you know what happened with a lot of those letters? What happened? They became books of the Bible. Mm. Some of the books that you guys know. Weren't we studying the books of the Bible before -na 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 -na, the pandemic came? Before COVID came to try to show COVID, up. COVID, we are so mad at you. <laughs> You're getting ready to see God's grace through that, kids. I'm sorry, I'm just so mad that we don't get to have fun in God's playground together anymore. I know that's right. But we will, we will. It's coming back. Let's keep talking about the story. Right. One, one of Paul's letters was mm -hmm. to the people in Ephesus. Mm -hmm. We call it the book of, everybody e say it, Ephesians! Wow, let's read a part Say that of again, it. brother. One, two, three, Ephesians! <laughs> wow, so let's go, let's start reading about it because of course earlier I read it to you, mm -hmm. but let's look at it together. Yeah. Because we're here to grow, we're here to understand, who God is, and we're here to build a relationship with God. That's right, right. that's real. So, Ms. Nastasia, can you share more with us? Yes, let me tell y'all what's up. Mm. Mm. Cause this was real for me. Tell them what's up. So, I bet the Ephesians needed to hear that too. Mm. I know I do. You see, we all mess up. Mm. We make mistakes. Mm. Oh, don't do my gift like that. Why? Don't do my gift. Cause your gift look messed up <laughs> and your gift look like it makes a lot of mistakes. <laughs> it does. This is a representation of me. Okay. I fail at things. We fail at things sometimes. We don't do things that we know we're supposed to be doing. Mm. And we ain't real for that. We need to be real for that. So what about the kids who lie? Wow. What about the kids who are dishonest to their parents, even during the pandemic? They know they have responsibilities of doing homework. Well, we know it's summertime, and we know it's Christmas in July, but there's still some responsibilities kids A have. lot of responsibilities, like going to school online now, mm. going on Zoom calls, doing our homework. Wow. We have to be honest about that, but we were getting tired of doing that work. Yeah. Online. Or not even playing, not even being able to play with friends. Right. So we stopped cleaning up, we stopped studying, we started getting lazy, and just saying anything. But this is the key. What's the key? How you feel after doing those things is truly who you are. Mm -hmm. Now, if you feel pretty crummy or bad about doing it, you're on the right track because you know that you can do better. And that's the Holy Spirit that is telling you whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. Right. And when we look at people all around us, mm -hmm. that can make us feel like we've messed up. Mm -hmm. We think, I wish I could be more like him. Wow. Or she always does everything perfect. Mm -hmm. Do you guys perfectly? Do you guys have a sibling or a cousin or a friend or a family member and you look at them and you say, man, they never mess up. Man, they always do things right. Yeah. Man, they're perfect. But Miss Nastasi, 
I don't think they're perfect. I think they're a little messy and make a lot of mistakes just like this rap gift. Right. <laughs> but it's kind of like this perfect gift here. This wow. is sometimes how people, other people look to me. Wow. They look to me, they say, I look at them and I look at me and I say, it just don't match. Wow, hold on. So this is you and uh -huh. this is how you look at other people. Yeah, and they're beautifully wrapped. But Miss Nastashi, even though this is wrapped, it's wrapped halfway. It's not fully wrapped. So what does that mean? Well, let me tell you what's true and what's up. This is why we love God. Mm -hmm. And this is why he sent his son, our true gift named Jesus. Wow. wow. See, it's kind of like, it's, it's, it's embarrassing a little bit to be like this gift. Mm -hmm. And it can seem like everybody else has it together. But right. guess what? Everyone messes up. Even, and it seems like other people don't, but everyone messes up. Even parents mess up? Yeah. Even teachers mess up? Yeah. Even the bus driver mess up? Yeah. How about the person that drive through at Chick-fil-A? Right. Oh, and you know how we feel about Chick-fil-A. Ooh, the Polynesian sauce. That Polynesian sauce! Ah! <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Get back to the message. Grace is a gift. So this is the thing about gifts that look perfectly wrapped. And people who seem perfectly wrapped, they look like they're perfectly wrapped. But mm -hmm. when you look at the back of them, they look just like the gift that's here. Wow. See, that's why we can't just look at people and assume that they have it together and that they're perfect and that they don't mess up. Because truth of the matter is, we all look like this gift. Yeah. But through Jesus, the Son of God, because of him being the gift that came, he helps us look this way. Nobody's perfect, we all mess up. But let us tell you more about this. Let's go more into depth. You have a question? Well, I had a question, Ms. Nastasha, because mm -hmm. I was wondering, you know, I'm home for COVID, mm -hmm. you know, it is the pandemic, and I'm so mad that we didn't get to do the summer things mm -hmm. that we normally do. And when my parents tell me to do something or, you know, I want to do something, I get very upset and disappointed about it. How do I become better at making better decisions so that I do not continue to look like this because I want to look more like Jesus? How do I look that way through the COVID-19 and the pandemic? Well, the first thing you have to do is be accountable. Mm. And when you know you mess up, you shouldn't try to hide it. You shouldn't try to sweep it under the rug. Yeah. You first have to say, you know what? I did lie, or I did eat that candy without asking, or I didn't do my homework, or I know I didn't clean my room, I just pushed everything in the closet. Wow, I used to do that. <laughs> used to? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing you have to do is be accountable and say, yes. you know what? Tell yourself, I'm tripping. So if it were me, I would say, girl, you tripping. You know you did this. And for my fellas, if it's you, you say, man, I did that. I'm tripping. Right. I'm tripping. I'm wrong. That's the first step. Yeah. It's to say that you're wrong, admit it to yourself, yeah. and then talk to God about it. Yes, God knows everything, but he's our father as well. And yes. most importantly, so you need to go to him and say, you know what, God? I did this and I am wrong. Father, can you forgive me? Wow, wow. Father, can you forgive me? After that, after you ask for forgiveness, don't go do the same thing. Don't go do the same thing. That's and, what I have to tell and, myself. And the Bible, the word, the term, the the word for that would be repent. Right. Right. You turn away from what was causing you to do that same thing. Right. So say this word with me. Repent. repent. See it at the bottom of the screen. Repent. repent. Right. Once you are accountable, yes. hold yourself accountable. Yes. Talk to God about it. Admit to God, God, I'm wrong. Yeah. Also, not only ask for forgiveness and say, God, can you forgive me? Say, Lord Jesus, can you help me get it right? Wow. That right there is the key. Ask God to help you get it right. Wow. I tell my daughter sometimes, yeah. girl, go sit down and ask God to help you get your mind right. You know what is so cool <laughs> as I'm sitting here thinking, Ms. Nastasha? Uh -huh. These lights that we have on Christmas, it is Christmas in July because no matter what season we are in, Jesus is the light that can get us through our mistakes. Right. Wow. And not only does he get us through our mistakes, he grants us grace. Mm. Wow. Grace. And with grace, we get we get another chance to try it again and get it right. Yes. Right. 
So that's the best gift ever. See, that's what I like about this message. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait for next week because next week is so incredible because we're going to continue to talk about grace. You may look like this, but Jesus will help you to become like this. Right. And that is so key. This is what Paul talks about. In Ephesians chapter 2, 8 through 9, mm -hmm. you want you read it with your parents and have yes. discussion. Talk about when they had mistakes and how did Jesus help them get out of it. Right. And I know, friend? yeah. And I know you guys like your iPads, your iPhones, your computers. That's how you watch us. Yes. But I want you to ask your parents for a Bible. And yes. if you can't get a Bible, call us. Yeah. Call the church. Call the church. We have a couple of kids' Bibles that we can give you. Call the church yes. and get a Bible because there's something special and different when you intentionally have a Bible yes. that you can open to say, God, I love you. I'm going to make this time for you. Yes. And if you have any special prayers about maybe working on some things, yeah. you can email us. Ramsey at TKCI.org, R-A-M-C-E-S at TKCI.org. What about you, Mr. Stashi? Or you can also email Ms. Stashi at Nastashi at TKC.org. There we go. Guys, we love you. We cannot wait to oh. give you the second part about the great. It's going to be so good. It's going to be so lit like these lights right here. What? Because these, they're a little warm. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. I, they're cooking. I think I smell my hair burning. I feel like a boy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You, you Until favorite, then. your favorite. Eh? Until then, Stashi, follow God. <laughs> Love people. And you guys better change, change the, the city. city.